Hello, welcome to Kajos Consultants. My name is Joshua, and today I will be taking you through how you can analyze and interpret data through cross tabulation. So, by the end of this session, you should be in a position to know the variables and their respective axes. Also, know how to cross tabulate variables to obtain tables and graphs. Also, whenever the tables and graphs have been generated, how can you interpret the data and how we can export? Are those tables and graph to one. I hope you will uh, find this video useful and kindly remember to click on the subscription tab below to subscribe to this channel so that you can be getting uh, instant updates whenever we upload a new tutorial. This data that I'm going to use for this uh, particular exercise today, you have uh, five variables, age, gender, education, work experience, and marital status. So we are going to know how can we cross tabulate uh, these variables and obtain uh, some data. So cross tabulation in simple terms is simply how we can compare two variables in a given set of data to show some sorts of relationship. In cross tabulation, you take your cursor, analyze menu in the SPSS main menu and click on analyze to display the menu here that you see here below and put your cards, place your cursor on the descriptive statistics. And the descriptive statistics, a new box will appear towards the right and uh, take your cursor down to cross tabs and click on cross tabs. So this dialog box is going to be displayed the moment you click on cross tabs with all the variables on the table that exists on uh, your left hand side. So towards the right, we have another table here, which have rows, we have columns. So under rows, any variable that you place under row will be taken to the X axis and uh, variables that you take to the column section will be taken to the Y axis. So this one uh, shows the dependent and the independent variable. You know that the dependent variables, we take them to the x-axis and the independent variables, we take them to the y-axis. So we can uh, compare two of our variables here. Here we have age, gender, education level, work experience, and marital status. So let's pick, uh, for example, age and compare with education. So the, the level of education, that one will belong to is dictated by age so that we'll find a person of a particular age is in a certain level of education, either primary, secondary, uh, tertiary uh, level. So here, our education depend on, so education now take it to the row column, which is the x-axis, then age can take it to the column, which is the y-axis. So once you have done that, can come here and uh, click on check on the box where you have display clustered bar charts. So if you check on this box, it means uh, the charts or the bar graphs can also be generated for this particular analysis. So we'll leave this box for suppressed table because we also want our data to be in table form. So just in case you have a problem interpreting the graphs, you can have your data in table form. Then you come and click on OK. So uh, once you click on the OK, the tables here will be generated and the graphs, as you can see. So we have tables and we have the, the bar graph generated. So we have here the case processing summary, the first table that we will see. This one will simply give out of uh, entries that we made 41%. If in case there is a missing value, in this case, you have no missing values and uh, the total percent we have here. The second uh, table will take us to uh, education level multiplied by age, then it is a cross tabulation. So this one shows the age, uh, those who are below 25 years old. We had only one person who had pursued his or education up to uh, diploma level. But on the same, same category of below 25 years, we have five university first degree graduates, 25 to 35 years old. We had three people 
have uh, assumed the education up to diploma level. We have 11 under university degree, and we have only one with a postgraduate, who is a, pro, a postgraduate. So you'll find under below 25 years, we had no person, or there was uh, no person who had acquired or achieved education up to postgraduate level. So 36 to 45 years, you have one person with a diploma, you have six with the university first degree, and you have two graduate uh, degree. Uh, 46 to 55, you have two with diploma, three with a university degree, and uh, one, only one with a postgraduate. So 56 and above, you find a diploma, you have two, the highest level of education for those who are 56 and above, the highest was a postgraduate uh, degree. So you can have the totals here for diplomas, you have for degree and for graduates. So you can also tell that if you could tabulate age and education, no matter the age bracket that any respondent uh, falls in, we have nine. So to know the exact values, you simply double click on this first graph here. So we double click on the first graph. If you double click on the first graph, the second graph will be displayed with a title here named as chart editor. So on this second graph, right click, using the right key on your mouse or the right key on your laptop, then go to show data labels. Show data labels is down here. Click on show data labels. So once you click, you show data labels, we'll find the values appearing here. So in this uh, chart, you can also have them in terms of percentages. If you like, you can have all of those. Uh, let me just uh, turn that down. This is how it was. We have the values here in numbers, diploma. Below 25, you can see it is marked with a blue. So, we have one, so we can just let us just have the percentage value as well. So for this percentage, you can see the percentage values are down here. Meaning if you leave this uh, value here without clicking on this um, upper arrow to take it to the, this uh, upper box, means only values will be showing and no percent will show. So let's have those both values or both counts and, and the percentage value by simply clicking on this arrow to take it up there. Then we come down here and we say apply. If we click on apply, we find both the values and the percentages appearing at the same uh, graph or the same bar. Then you can cl close here and then come also and close the second and remain with the first one. So below 25 years, we want to compare the same value that you have on the table, the same values that we have here on the graph. So below 25 years, this is now marked with a blue. We check all the blues. The first one is only one person had a diploma. That accounts to 2.44% of the total respondents of the total population uh, who participated in this study. Then and only five, the same five uh, we have here for universe. Uh, <coughs> that is uh, uh, below 25. Yeah, whoever a university degree, you have the five here that accounts to 12.2 percent. So for 25 to 35 is now marked with a green. Then now with a degree, we have 11 accounting to 26.3 percent. And uh, let's check postgraduate. We have only one here, as you can see. We have only one here. That is uh, those who are 25 to 30 with postgraduate. So this data, you can int interpret it up to that level. Let us uh, run another uh, cross tab and see how it uh, comes up. You simply go to analyze menu and the SPSS main menu. Then you we'll go to descriptive statistics to display this uh, option here. Then click on, or you click on cross tabs. 
Once you click on cross tab, you can now uh, return this one because you have already used them. Then we can compare gender and uh, education. We have our education here as the x axis, and we have gender and the y axis where we have the columns. Once you have done that, you can simply click the display clustered bar chart is checked already. Then click on OK. So once we click on OK, you have a table. Here, as I indicated, the case processing summary will tell you the number of valid entries and even the missing values from your data. Then you have education now and gender. So we can come here and see from the gender, male, you have only six out of the total. There were those who have diploma were six. Then those who had university degree were 13. And those who had postgraduate degree were five. So you compare male and female across, you find that there were six males with diploma and there were three females with a diploma. So you see the number of males with diploma is higher than the number of females with a diploma. University degree, you find again the number of male. males are high compared to the number of females. Also postgraduate, you have male five and only female two. So that's how you can compare that data, you can interpret it. You can simply also come here and insert the values and the percentages by simply double clicking on the graph. Then the second graph, you can uh, right click, then go to show data labels. The values will be there. Then also have this percentage uh, move. So you can move it the same that way you can simply drag and drop or you can simply take it up with data. If you don't want it to be there, you can simply uh, close with an X. And uh, even if also you don't want the count and you want only the percent, you can still click on the percent and, uh, and, and uh, on the count and take it down here. So let's say we want uh, all of them. So we can, uh, once you have all the values in the upper box, we simply come here and click on apply. Then we close this first one and we close on this uh, second one. Then we remain with this value. So male is marked with the blue and female is marked with uh, green. So for diploma, you have a male and female. So we have only those who have diploma, you have 14.63% uh, of the respondents who, are, who have diploma were male and three or 7.32% with the diploma were female. So this one, so if you check across the entire data, you see that the bar for male is higher than for female across. So for this particular case, we have no number of male in all levels of education compared to the number of, of uh, females. So if we check another one on marital status and maybe age, in that marital status will depend on the age that uh, someone has. We have them that way, then click on OK. And we compare that. So we have uh, below 25 years, those who are married were two, 25 to 35, those who are married were five, 36 to 45, you had to married were two, 46 to 50, you have uh, two, or you have then 56 and above, and only one person are married. So those who are below 25, you have four of them were single, uh, 25 to 35, you had nine, People have a single, 36 to 45, you had six, 46 to 55, you had two, and 56 to, and above, you had two. Divorced and separated, below 25, you had none, 25 to 35, you had one, 36 to 45 years, you had one, 46 to 55, you had one, then 56 and above, you had one. Then widowed, you had none across, 
Then 46 to 55, you had one and 56 and above, you had one person is widowed. You can still come into the graph here and also do the same by having all the values and the percentages on the bars by simply double clicking on the graph to display the second graph. Here are the second graph, you right click, then show data labels, click on show data labels, then run up the percentage and click on apply to give us all those values. Then close that also and remain with these values. So below 25, those who are married. Yeah, so we have that. So you can see here, we have those who are below 25, Married, we have uh, this uh, by stem across, so we have, they have only indicated uh, 1% and one value to, to cut across because the bars are, are they of the same height. So we have two and below 25 years. Uh, uh, those who are married, we have two, that is accounting to 4.88%. Those are single, we have uh, four, that is 9.76%. Then we mm -hmm. had, uh, none was divorced or widowed for that particular age group. Then 25 to 35, that is marked with the green. We had uh, five people, that is uh, counting to 12.2% of the respondents, 25 to 35 were married. Then 921.95% were single. Then divorced, we had 2.44%, that is only one. 46 to 55 years marked with the uh, purple. We had only, we had two, that is 4.88%. Single, we had uh, two, still 0.88%. Then divorce or separated, we had one, then also widowed, we had one, counting to 2.44% each. 56%, uh, 50, sorry, 56 years and above. Uh, married, we had only one for that. Uh, out of the total respondents who are sampled. Single, we had two, counting 4.88%. Married, divorced or separated, we had one, counting to 2.44%. Then widowed also, we had one, counting to 2.44% of that total uh, sample population. So that is how you can <coughs> generate tables and interpret the results during or your cross tabulation of variable when you are comparing uh, two variables. So once you have this data, you can simply now uh, take it, you can delete maybe the section that you don't want, but simply can clean it at this point. We can just click on the first one to highlight it, that then uh, uh, click on the delete key. You can also delete that, you can delete that as well. Maybe retain those other where you come down here. You can delete all these and uh, get all these values. So here we have the data that you have analyzed and uh, generated with tables and the graphs. So to have this in one document, simply select everything by controlling A. On your keyboard, there's a control key. We have uh, written CTRL control key, press on, press on the control key. Then go to the letter A on your keyboard, press on letter A to select everything. Then right click, uh, you can cut or you can copy. So copy that. Once you have copied that, the data will be copied, then you can simply come here and uh, have a separate blank Word document and have all this data here in Word document. So maybe once I have it, I can now change my layout to be in a portrait. So this is now the data that I have uh, for analysis and in day on how you can, you can run uh, this particular analysis uh, during uh, cross tabulation. Uh, kindly remember to, to click on the subscription tab below so that you can subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more updates whenever we upload uh, any tutorial. Thank you very much and have a nice time.